We, the Delta Command, do hereby set in motion the principles of this document, the summa modus operandi of the chaos insurgency. We hold the following to be inescapable truths. The Foundation Overseers have altered the fabric of reality for the benefit of their own wicked desires. These alterations are the source of all supernatural activity in our universe. These grievances we hold against them. The Fourth Overseer has lulled the nations of the world into believing that the Foundation means them no harm, while working alongside the same treacherous intentions that would see this planet laid to waste. The Third Overseer has used mankind's own technologies against them to act as the all-seeing watcher of the Overseers, spinning a web of eyes that has eroded every last shred of human privacy and decency. The Second Overseer is complicit. The First Overseer has established a council of monsters and demons that answer at his beck and call. Also, he may sit on his foul throne atop the putrid wound of the Foundation and lap like a dog from its seeping, pustulant orifice. File number 001-4054 The Ambassador Persian male, Iranian-Armenian ancestry, French heritage Appears to be in his early thirties. Some sources have provided records indicating that 054 was, in his youth, French actor Jean Lemieux Bertrand, born Jean Ebrahimi. Since most evidence of 054's exploits were apparently destroyed shortly after his appointment to the Overseer Council, little is known about his professional career. Commonly called the Ambassador, 054 is called to action whenever the Council needs a pretty face. Often described as being incredibly attractive and anomalously charismatic, he has acted as the Foundation's salesman whenever required. Sources indicate he was first tasked with drawing American attention away from Mexico during the Second World War, likely due to the severe anomalous activity taking place there at the time. Despite being well-spoken and appearing generally well-educated, 054 is not an academic nor is he particularly interested in the prospect of managing an organization. He is well known for delegating any duties he might accrue, in order to maintain as little responsibility as possible. This lackadaisical attitude towards leadership was manipulated by 057, who convinced the Ambassador to give her an unofficial automatic vote for anything she might support. Journal Entry The Fourth Overseer I fear this will be a disappointingly short entry. The fourth overseer, who is called the Ambassador, is little more than a frontman for the Foundation's PR efforts. He's often called anomalously charismatic, but there is no evidence to prove that. Instead, it seems he was chosen for the Council by Green, when it was no longer fitting to trot Baron Hoadley out every time they needed somebody to say something on the Foundation's behalf usually as part of one of their front corporations. Goes by the name Jean Lemieux Bertrand, though evidence I have collected indicates he was born as Jean Ebrahimi, an Iranian. His parents emigrated to France when he was a child, and in his adulthood, he became Bertrand, French stage actor of some acclaim. However, due to the Foundation's involvement in his career, there are no longer extant original records of his activities prior to joining the Foundation. I've attached the address of his home to the back of this page. You can go to speak to him, but given the information I have about his backbone, it's unlikely he'll have much to say to you. End of entry. File number 001-3053. The Kid. Unknown age. Unknown gender. Unknown ethnicity. Very little is known about the actual nature of 053, often described by sources as not being human at all, and instead being an artificial intelligence designed to create other artificial intelligences. He has not ever appeared physically outside of Overwatch Command, instead appearing through avatars on screens, 
and speaking with a digitally constructed voice. The single image a source was able to find of 053 is of a very young Korean child in traditional Joseon apparel, which is unsupported by any other claims about the overseer. He is supposedly the direct report for Maria Jones, the head of the Foundation's Record Keeping and Information Security Administration, having seized that authority from the archivist when those records became digital. Notably, Foundation AIC units, such as the Alexandra and Thorn units, are incapable of discussing 053, despite evidence that information about him accumulates in their databanks as they learn over time. Journal Entry the Third Overseer I wish I had more information to put into this journal about the Third Overseer, the one they call The Kid. I wish I could tell you that the sum of my research has led me to a conclusion about what form this Overseer takes, and what someone should know before facing it. I wish I could help you. Unfortunately, I have not ever seen the Third Overseer, nor have any of my colleagues. He has spoken about in uncertain terms, and... In many circles, it is believed that he may not even exist at all. For a long time, it was widely accepted that the Third Overseer was nothing more than an artificial intelligence, used to break ties and voting, back before the implementation of a Thirteenth Overseer. However, the more insidious truth may be that 053 is something different altogether. It is true that the GOC and insurgency call the Overseer the Kid, due only to the image attached to this page that serves as the only image ever connected to the individual called 053. But within the Foundation, the Overseer has a different name. In the Foundation, the Overseer is called the All-Seeing Eye. It should come as no surprise to you then that it is now commonly believed that the Third Overseer sits at the center of the Foundation's intelligence network. Indeed, the Foundation seems to have a nearly limitless amount of intel on anomalous entities and groups, information that should not be obtainable by natural means. In the old days, that could have been written off as them having better satellites, but that no longer seems to be the case. I have seen Foundation agents lurking around the sides of anomalous activity before the activity ever takes place. I have seen Foundation agents working to supplant world leaders prior to massive unrest that they could not have possibly predicted. Throughout it all, these agents and operatives of the Foundation always know just where to be and when. It can only be attributed to their all-seeing eye. As for his location, the best I can give you is that there was a local news story that broke a decade ago about a town in the northwest United States that was having energy issues, shortly after the installation of a new hydroelectric dam, one that should have helped alleviate those issues. Ever since then, heat signatures near that reservoir have been significantly higher than other similar structures, so the heat appears to be coming from deep within the structure. One last word of warning. If it is true that the Third Overseer is the eyepiece of the Foundation's Overwatch Command, then it will no doubt be guarded by the most experienced and dangerous of the Foundation's kill squads, the Mobile Task Force Alpha-1, Red Right Hand. In years long past, this task force would have been composed of many agents from various backgrounds that have reached the pinnacle of their careers. However, my source is now telling me that another group of Terminators have taken up the mantle of the Foundation's most deadly task force, one that is not entirely human. Be wary. End of entry. File number 001-2-052. The Nazarene. Female. Middle Eastern descent. Appears to be in her twenties. Extremely little information exists about the individual called the Nazarene. Even the origins of her name are unknown. The only source able to provide any information about her insists on two things specifically. That she is never seen without 051 and that she has changed over time. Early Foundation documents mention 052 as being the head of the Foundation's Department of Morality, now the Ethics Committee though it does not appear as if she has ever served in that role. 
One source indicated that her name perhaps comes from the fact that she is never seen without a pair of dark gloves, which she never removes in public, leading some to believe she's hiding scars on her hands or wrists from her crucifixion as Jesus of Nazareth. Though where this rumor began, and what would lead anyone to draw that conclusion in the first place, is unknown. Note, there is no additional journal entry included in this file. File number 001-1 051 The Founder Caucasian male Appears to be in his late 30s Believed to be Aaron Siegel, a physicist who attended Cornell University in the early 1900s. Became involved with Frederick Williams, the individual later known as the Administrator, shortly after the turn of the century. Led the first research team of what would eventually become the SCP Foundation, along with 0513, 0510, 052, and several others. The events that led to him founding and assuming command of the Foundation proper are currently unknown. Despite once being fairly active in the day-to-day -day running of the Foundation, 051 has pulled away in recent years and has not been seen in public for the last few decades, leaving 057 to manage the entire organization. While his death has been assumed on a number of occasions, one very high-level source confirms that he continues to vote during council meetings. While nearly every other overseer maintains a private residence, 051 is believed to live at Overwatch Command. The location of this facility is unknown. Note, there is no additional journal entry included in this file. Lesson complete. For more orientation training, subscribe to SCP Orientation or... Watch these playlists.